Okay, so we put a bend in our wires. That's where we left off. And we are going to try to solder them to our strain gauge. I used some tweezers to get more accuracy so you can guide them exactly where you need them to go. And then you can use a piece of tape like I did here to stabilize your wires so they don't move when you get ready to solder. So I'm trying to solder. Solder machine on and getting my tin ready to go. Let it warm up for a bit here. So you can see that this thin wire right here is much easier to handle and manipulate compared to all of them twisted together. So hopefully when we get ready to solder, it won't take as much of our soft material, our tin, to solder it, and it should be much easier. All right, so I believe that we are warm. So I'm just gonna use my solder machine here to hold down the wire, and then you put a little bit of tin down there. I might put a little bit more on this side here. Okay. And same thing on the other side. So the trick, it's very difficult and it takes some getting used to. But, um, so you've got your wires down on the copper. So I'm going to put the soldering tool down to kind of almost hold down the wire. And then I'm going to use, um, I'm going to push down. I'm going to touch the soldering gun with the, with the tin in this hand. And then when I lift up, I'm gonna lift up on both of them at the same time. So push down with the soldering gun, push down with the tin, and then lift up at the same time. So that's the kind of movement that we're looking for. So I'm just gonna try to uh, make sure that, that I got my wires where I wanted. So see this loose one here? He needs to be over here. This is the problem if you do two wires. You have to make sure that they don't get cross-wired. You want the red only to stay on the red side, okay? So we can either cut him off or solder him in. I think I'm gonna solder him in. He or she in. Okay, so it should be all connected, touching, and looking beautiful, right? Don't forget to turn off your soldering machine and then I'm gonna take a quick peek just to make sure that they look like they're connecting and all tied up. And then we're gonna move on to the next section.